<laughs> it's so good to be here today doing this and um, what do I want to talk about today going from the dark into the light beautiful crystals eh these are the beautiful crystals that I got from positivity shop when it was open before the lockdown today we're on I think it's 20 or 21 it means I've been doing this now for three weeks guys three weeks and every single day I get up and I do my moving on TV because I love it so let's talk a little bit about the darkness um, I want to talk a little bit today about struggling with uh, people that may not agree with us and um, I have to admit I'm very very serious about what I believe in now um, I'm very very serious about how I want to run my life and what I want to do with my life and how and my programs and my beliefs and my values um, but the darkness can be when sometimes I can be very stubborn and sometimes I don't know all the answers, who does? Um, there are people that I respect that are coming at me with different ideas, which is fine. And they're saying things which are not always congruent with what I believe in, but I'm happy to listen. But it gets to a point where you have to understand that you have to follow in the direction that you feel is right for you, yeah? Now, the darkness enveloped me the other day when someone I love was giving me the opposite of what I believed in, and so all the fear came in, because this is always fear-based, guys. All the fear came in, and it said to me, um, you need to fight, Lauren. You need to fight in order to protect yourself. You need to fight. Um, of course, that's what I did. Uh, I defended myself. I defended my beliefs. I felt like this person was goading me and it got worse and worse and worse. And it developed into a huge row where one of us had to go the other way for a while to cool down. Now, that's the darkness, okay? The darkness, is, everything is coming up, everything. There's me making programs about organ harvesting. There's me making programs about people that are out there risking their lives um, to show the human race what you're not meant to see, which is the sex slaving, the organ harvesting, all the other stuff that we're not meant to see, that we have to pretend doesn't exist. And... Uh, but I can become very fanatical. Now, that's the problem sometimes, is religions can become fanatical. Uh, spiritual beliefs can become fanatical. People can become fanatical, fanatical about life and about things, and it doesn't always help us. It doesn't always serve us. So what I'm saying here, what are you trying to say here, Lauren, is that we have to be very careful because our egos can very, very quickly override the love that we feel. And fear is a big one. Fear is a big one for me. So if someone sits there and tells me that everything I feel or believe in, of, because of years and years of study and knowing how this body works, if someone comes and tells me something that completely negates that, and says to me, oh, you'll be fine if you take a tablet, you'll be fine. From evidence, from based evidence, scientific based evidence, I know that I will not be fine if I take a certain thing, like a medication or something, because of the way my body works. And that is it. That is it. That is not just my truth. That is evidence. Years and years of study and testing what works for me and what doesn't and today i had an interesting conversation with someone who said well chemicals are in everything so what's wrong with chemicals and i said yeah chemicals are in everything mother is earth we are created from chemicals our cells are a mixture of chemicals that's right 
However, chemicals that resonate with the body are fine. But when you put a chemical into the body, like aluminium, which is dense and heavy, when you put SLS, sodium laureate sulfate, into the body continuously, sodium SLS, if you check it out, it's so powerful that it can actually wipe grease off garages. That's how strong it is. It lifts the grease. Now, do you want that in your body? I don't. If you do your research on parabens of what they put into women's makeup and products, then we're in trouble. If that accumulates in your body, there's no oxygen. And I know this because I've studied it and I know what it does to women. It creates cancer, it creates tumors. Now, if someone says to me, oh, you're fine with that, then no, I'm not. <laughs> I believe it. I believe that's why I never got cancer because I learned how to um, not use these products and I've done my research. So please have the dignity and the respect to understand that I know what's good for me and that's why I'm not happy to have anything mandatory put anywhere near me from that lot. As you know, I don't believe in doctors anymore. I don't believe in medicine. That is my right. And as moving on TV, I'm a truth channel. I'm giving you what I know in order for you to do your research. Now, if someone doesn't agree with me, then they can go and do whatever they want, but don't, again, impose it on me. So again, the darkness into the light here. I know I keep repeating myself because people are coming at me with this a bit. And so I had a discussion today with uh, my partner who said he may want what I don't want when it comes to that lot. And I, and I said, well, as long as you don't stand against me with them when it comes to my choices. And isn't that the answer for peace in the world? You do what you want, I do what I want. And that is the darkness coming into the light. You do what you want, I do what I want. You do what you want, I do what I want. As long as we're not creating conflict. In the therapeutic community, again, I want to hold these beautiful crystals to show you. Aren't they beautiful? Um, just to be balanced. And, you know, I did some Falandapa yesterday on here to help us all stay balanced. The people are in a lot of fear and we're falling out. And that's not the way I would like my life to be. People are saying that I'm putting stuff on moving on TV according to my beliefs. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I'm doing all the work and it's my TV station and it's up to me to put out what I believe is true. You can come on here, um, but in a nice, gentle way, we can discuss things, but quite honestly, if you want to hear the other side and the lies and the nonsense and the fear mongering, please go on the mainstream media. I don't really want you on Movie on TV. On Movie on TV, I'm looking for heroes. I'm looking for people that want to promote their dreams and the positivity and the love. I don't really want to have discussions about fear mongering. So if you're going to do that, then this is not the right place for you to be on here. You know, if you're going to come on here and have a laugh and discuss things in, in a light way, I'm bringing in the darkness, yes. But I'm not buying into the fear mongering. And I have my values and my beliefs. And if people don't want to live up to that, then the, this is not the right place for them to be. Start your own channel. This TV station is bringing the hope and glory back into our lives by telling you what the media will not tell you, by showing you these heroes that are going out there to create love and compassion to highlight, to end the cruelty, to end the cruelty. Those are the kind of people I want on here, heroes. And also heroes that are going out there to change their lives and change the lives of humanity, to make us laugh, to be positive. I don't want big discussions about um, things that I don't really want big discussions about on here because you can get that on the mainstream, okay? And I think that enough of us know the truth. Enough of us know and 
whatever your truth is and mine is, you can choose to do whatever you want and I will choose whatever I want. I did want to have a conversation on here, a debate about mandatory and why certain things should not be mandatory because then you're forcing me to buy into what you want and that's not acceptable. That's a good conversation to have about mandatory. But I don't want to do fear mongering on here. I just want to wake people up and take you from the darkness into the light, if that makes sense. And I don't really like debunking people that are going out there to do the good stuff, like Isaac Cappy, like the ITNJ, like Mitchell. These are heroic people that have the guts to keep putting out the truth. I do not want investigations into them on this channel. I don't want to hear about their past. We've all got a past. We've all got, um, you know, different past that we've done things we're not proud of, whatever. I I've sent a message out to Robbie Williams because I'm very interested in knowing how did he manage to not get involved with that lot and yet be a very successful entertainer. How do you do that? How do you do that? Because I'd like to know. Um, time will tell. Whether Robbie Williams will get back to me or not, I don't know, but I'm asking him. So, taking you into the light. <laughs> let's pull a card. For maybe, let's pull a card for you from how do we stay sane in this crazy world if we have got different opinions? Well, quite honestly, people that want me to be forced to do something I don't want, they ha I have nothing to do with them anymore. I don't want them near me because they're basically not, they don't care about my feelings. People that will negotiate and let me be myself and I can let them be themselves, yeah, fine. Then we could be friends because we have different opinions. But don't force your poisons onto people that don't want them and don't. Because then I don't want them near me. Okay. So if you want to negotiate and explain and say what you want, you can do whatever you want. But don't convince me that I don't know what's going on. I've got 30 years nearly, 20 years of research, 25 years of homeopathy and natural medicine. I know what natural medicine is. Without it, I wouldn't be here now. I know what ordinary medicine was doing to my body. I was sick all the time with IBS and it was making me sicker and sicker. I know what it does. So, you know, I have a very strong intuition. Anyway, let's see what today's card tells us. Wish everyone peace. They're so synchronistic. Today you're going to learn that what you give, you receive back. Interesting. So if people are coming towards me, and uh, ending up fighting, that means I'm fighting. So I have to go inside, I have to meditate, I have to figure this out myself. What is going on inside of me? Why am I fighting? Because I'm in fear. When I'm in fear, I fight. It's not the answer. But we have to let it all come up. Course in Miracles teaches me to wish people peace. And because we're all connected, I will get the peace back too. Even if someone is not very nice to you, in your mind, keep wishing them peace. You'll be amazed at the results. This is an enlightened card. You chose it because you're on the path. I wish everyone peace today from my heart. So again, to my fellow man, um, I wish you peace. And I, I, if you are fighting with yourself or with me, it's because I feel I fight when I'm in fear. When my convictions are very strong and I'm in 5D, I don't need to be in fear. And I can wish peace to everyone. I do wish you all peace. I wish you peace. Course in Miracles says the atonement is about joining together and we all heal together. And just very quickly, a gentle Falun Dafa exercise for my respect for those beautiful people to end their torture and their pain and their plight. A beautiful, easy exercise. You can watch 
the exercises and learn them on en.fallandaffa.org again. Gently, gently, gently. I love you guys. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Please share, please like and share. Um, come on the program. If you want to have your own program, but please don't spread fear mongering. Just tell the truth as it's coming up. And if you want to run your own program around how to help people relax or people to have a better life, then we're the channel for you, bringing the hope and the glory back into our lives. No chemicals, nothing that harms the environment or people. Pure love. That is it. Take care. Bye.